The motivation for the TQ Foundation, it's fundamentally to help Kiwi drivers make it in the big world. And, you know, there's been plenty of guys in New Zealand that have done very well overseas with the help of uh, the Gold Traps and Kenny Smith and all those people. And I guess I just want to join them in celebrating the young talent that's in New Zealand. And I've gathered a bunch of people that have influence promoting and helping uh, young drivers to prosper in motorsport. It's a tough gig. It's, it's a very, very tough sport. And you need a lot of help and a lot of influence behind you to make it happen. I had the speed sport scholarship when I started and that got me a season in, in Formula First and then, you know, progressed my way up the ladder from there. But um, yeah, the stuff that Tony's doing and others in New Zealand and Steve Horn helping too, all those people with huge worldwide experience, it's, it's great for New Zealand racing. What they've done this year, the prize was awesome and you could see the interest it created in the Toyota 86 Championship. It was one of the most competitive domestic championships for years and I think what Tony's done and his team with Josie and everyone, it's been awesome. Tony's done an amazing thing with the foundation and there's going to be so many that are you know, going to turn up next year for the, the same prize I imagine. I mean Ryan Wood was here today who's done really well and I imagine that plenty of the up and comers from New Zealand will be doing the same thing over the years to come. up today it was very foggy and straight away Shane uh, called me over to his car and and jumped in there and basically went around the track and he showed us the lines and what to look out for and then I was straight into it. Alright man, enjoy! Bye bye, Dev. The first couple of laps were pretty cool. I just wanted to just soak it up and, and then once I got comfortable with the car, then I yeah, just went down the back straight with a big grin on my face and, and plucking through the gears. So an incredible experience and something I'll never forget. There's just so much grunt in these things and, and everything's so raw. And yet, so much feedback through everything on this car. It's just completely different to every, anything that I've driven. It's got six times the horsepower of an 86, for example, and uh, back to no ABS. So yeah, very, very raw and just a lot of learning. Driving a supercar for anyone is a dream. I remember my first day was, was out at this track as well, many years ago, but the feeling when you turn up, seeing a full professional team and supercar, like it's a, it's a pretty big deal. Rowan's been awesome, he had his first run this morning, sort of acclimatising, getting used to it and learning about supercars and they're just so different to his Toyota back home with the lock diff, slick tyres, about 400 more horsepower or something, so big change for him, but the biggest thing was he listened and adapted and every run got better, and then um, we gave him a better set of tyres for his last run and the lap time came, so pretty impressive. He was within eight tenths of Cam Hill, who's the normal driver, and he had the best set of tyres, so really good first day, but what it is is the attitude, you know, listening, learning, fitting in with the team, he's done really well. We weren't that far off the pace to be honest and I was pretty happy with how I went but just around the corners just trying to drive it a bit too much like an 86 and being too quick around the centre of the corner instead of you know driving it like a V-shape around uh, the, the hairpins and stuff like that. So your braking's quite good, pressure's a bit spiky but that's because of your hill toe, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. But see you're braking and then you're getting off the, tr off the brake and driving through the yeah. corner yeah. but you got to really with this car, you can brake a bit later but V-shape the corner, go in long, yeah. down the brake, turn and go. And these cars, you can't get on the, you can't get on the throttle when you're still turning. See, yeah. and see how you've still got more steering lock. He's straighter. He gets it done in the middle, yeah. and then gets a better exit. Everyone has been really helpful today, from Shane to the engineers to Craig, just breaking it down and making things really simple for me. I was talking to some of them today and they just said just make sure you enjoy it, don't try and push too hard on anything like that because at the end of the day you're just here to enjoy yourself and that's exactly what I've done. There's always been good drivers coming out in New Zealand and we kind of had a lull the last couple of years and now seeing the junior categories starting to pick back up over there with Formula Ford and Toyota, 
I think it's really good and it's promising for New Zealand racing and Toyota racing. Having internationals come back I think will be great and hopefully we can have some young guys challenge the internationals. We've helped the Formula Ford guys who for the last 50 years have been the stepping stone to greatness really. Uh, if you do well in Formula Ford, you're very, like, you're very likely to do very well in one of those loud things out there. Also with Toyota in New Zealand, Toyota are the brand that supports racing in New Zealand. So we work well with Toyota with their 86 series and Rowan is the first winner of the foundation piece of the 86 series. And we also do a bit with the TRS category in New Zealand as well, which is the New Zealand Grand Prix, which, you know, if you can win the New Zealand Grand Prix, you're in pretty healthy company. So that's our challenge is to take these kids or people through the system and then help them on their journey in the world. And, you know, with people like Steve Horn and, and Greg Murphy sitting next to us, they've got a wealth of knowledge. Oh, and let's not forget Dan Gaunt, just in case we do.